Hey there, story time is here, story time is here, hey you and you and you, story time is here, hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to story time, my name is Abike, I'm from the Rogers Library in the Hennepin County Library System and I have missed all of you guys so much i am so excited to be back with you to share a big picture book with you and one or two songs so tell me mary jack kevin isaac ishmael miranda araya amira Amina and Jabal, how have you all been? How is your summer going? Have you been good? Have you been helping mom and dad at home? What have you been doing inside the house? Have you been able to come up with one or two things to do to have fun with all the grown-ups in the house? Have you learned something to make something or help the grown-ups with something new? Have you been outside in the yard? What do you see in your backyard? Do you see the squirrels? Do you see the flowers? Did you notice the butterflies? What about in your front yard? Do you see all the cars parked in the driveway? Do you see your neighbors walking up and down the street with their pets? Did you happen to go to the park? What did you do over there? Did you go on the swing set or perhaps the slide or you went around the merry-go-round or you went in the water splash on your way to the park? Did you notice all the green grass? Did you notice your neighbors mowing their lawns and the water uh, sprinklers coming on? Oh, I bet it has been a fun summer for all of you. I'm glad that you are back to story time. Remember that in story time, we'll learn about the five powerful early literacy skills or practices that will help, will help you to get ready for kindergarten. We learn, we learn to read, to play, to talk, to sing, and write together. And these skills will help you to become successful in kindergarten, in school and later on in life. So come on, let's get started. What kind of day is today? What kind of day have, days have you been having in the summer? Sunny days, yes. Cloudy days, raining days, and windy day, days. Oh, there's so much we can talk about. But we will start with our big book today. And you know what? The big book that I have today is called Ch Chant the Alphabet. We are going to the very, very beginning, the basics. Before you can learn to read or write, you have to know the alphabet. Those are the skills that are going to help you become successful in life. So let's read this together. This big book is by Lakeshore Learning Materials. And again, it is called Chant the Alphabets. Look at all those animals. I see a monkey, a vulture, a giraffe. This is a koala bear S for snake a hippo and 
What does that look like? Looks like an ostrich. A, that's the first letter of the alphabet, is for alligator and also for apes. Look at this picture. How many alligators do you see? I see one right in the middle. It has green body and its belly is yellow. What about the apes? How many apes do you see? I see two. One, two. They are brown in color. Don't they all look happy? They look like they are having fun. A. Can you think of another word that begins with the letter A? Apple. Yes, that begins with the letter A. Apricot. And what about your name? My name, remember, is A B K. That starts with the letter A. And what about Alice? Abigail, those words start with the letter A. Put in your name too. Does your name begin with the letter A, the first letter? Good. Let's move on. B is for bear munching on grapes. That's the big bear there. I see grapes. I see what color are the grapes? Purple. And the bear is brown. That's another word that starts with the letter B. Let's think about some others. B that buzzes, buzz. B is also for ball. It's for baseball. It's also for bananas. Good. What about your name? Ben starts with the letter B. Does your name begin with the letter B? Good. C. U is for cookies. Yum, yum. Mm. Let's think about all the words that begin with the letter C. How about cake? Your birthday cake. How about cars? I bet you ride in the car when you go out with an adult. Carrots. Are you eating your vegetables? Candy. All those words begin with the letter C. What about your name? Are you Constance? Charlie begins with the letter C. The next letter is D. It's for a deer. It's also called Bambi. What other letters begin with the letter D? A dog. Woof, woof. Af, af. A dog. Dinosaur begins with the letter D. What else can you think of? Does your name begin with the letter D? Are you a dog? Oh, e is for elephant. What a big ear. And look at the little hand or a bird on top of the elephant. What other words can you think of that begins with the letter E? Your eyes. And of course, your ear. Does your name begin with the letter E? Eagle begins with the letter E. Perhaps you had some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Eggs begin with the letter E. Are you a 
Earl. Does your name begin with the letter E? F is for foxes. How many foxes do you see? One, two, three. Let's think of other words that begin with F. Frog. Yes. Starts with F. Fish. Starts with F. Fan. Starts with F. Does your name begin with the letter F? Are you a Frank or Franklin? But hopefully not a Frankenstein. G is for goat. Look at that goat. They love to eat flowers. Now flowers, we could have added that with letter F. What word begins with letter G? Girl. What other words can you think of? Giraffe. Does your name begin with the letter G? Good. H is for horse. Horses with a spotted coat. Look at that horse. And look at its spots. And look at its tail. Can you think of other words that begin with H? Or begin with the letter H. Can you think of another word? Or does your name begin with the letter H? I is for iguana and also for eyes. Look at that iguana skating. What other words can you think of that begins with I? Insects. Igloo. Infant, like a baby. Does your name begin with the letter I? J is for jelly beans that taste really nice. Yum, yum. What other words do you think begins with J? Jump, 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 jump. What other words can you think of? Jiggle, jewelry. Does your name begin with the letter J? Jungle. Oh, K is for kite. What color is the kite? And what color is the bird flying? A pink kite. Brown bird. What other words begin with the letter K? Keys to open the door, a king. What other words can you think of? Kayaking. Does your name begin with the letter K? L is for lake. It's fun to go to the lake. What other words do you think begin with the letter L? Lion. <laughs> Being loud begins with the letter L. What other words can we think of? Love. Begins with the letter L. You are loved very much. 
Does your name begin with the letter L? M is for mouse eating a cake. Oh, I love the letter M. Do you know why? Because it is also for mom or mama or mommy. It is for monkey or money. It's for muffin and milk. Does your name begin with the letter M? N is for nest. You see a nest there? How many eggs do you see in the nest? One, two, three. And that's the bird watching its nest. Let's think of other words that begin with N. No, 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 no. You say no a lot. That begins with the letter N. Noise. Your nanny. All starts with the letter N. Does your name begin with the letter L N? O is for order. It's also for ocean with sparkling blue water. Can you think of other words that begin with the letter O? Oranges. One starts with the letter O. Orangutan starts with the letter O. Does your name begin with the letter O? P is for porcupine. It's trying to brush its hair. Can you think of other words that begin with P? Penguin begins with P. Pizza begins with P. Pencils. Your pets, whether it's a dog or a cat or a goldfish or hamster. What other words can you think? Pig, oink, oink, starts with the letter P. Does your name begin with the letter P? Q is for quail. Q is also for queen. It is for quiet. It's for quilt. Does your name begin with the letter Q? R is for raccoon with stripes on its tail. Can you think of other words that begin with R? How about rabbit? Rhinoceros. Does your name begin with the letter R? S is for C horse. S also be snake also begins with the letter S. The sun, the shining bright sun begins with S. Sand begins with S. And sandwich begins with S. Does your name begin with S? T is for tire. It's under cars and trucks. What other words can we think of that begin with T? Table, 
tiger. Rrr. Tortoise or turtle. Toys. Does your name begin with the letter T? U is for unicorn and also for umpire. U is also for umbrella. What other word can you think of that begins with U? Does your name begin with you? V is for vulture. Can you think of other words that begin with V? Violin. Van. Vest. Does your name begin with the letter V? W is for wings. Now you need the birds used to fly and flies used to fly. What other words begin with W? Water. Watermelon. Yum, yum. Walrus. Winter. Mm. Does your name begin with W? X is for X-ray. To see inside things. What other words begin with X-ray? Xylophone. Zigua is a kind of fruit, not common. Does your name begin with a X? Y is for yo-yo. What other words can you think of that begin with Y? Yam. Yuck. Does your name begin with the letter Y? Yellow color begins with Y. Z is for zoo. I love to go to the zoo where you see lots and lots of animals. What other words can you think of that begins with the letter Z? Zoom. Zigzag. Zipper. Zero. Now I know the alphabet and you do too. Let's read the alphabets together. And I bet you know there's a song about the alphabets too. We'll sing that in just a minute. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and the last letter is Z, Z. When you look at this book, you'll see that there's a big letter. It's called a capital letter. Big letter and then a small letter. So that's capital A, B, capital B, 
small letter b and so on now that we've read this book we get to sing the abc song because we just finished reading a big book about the alphabets now let's sing together you know it join me here we go a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z now you, you know the abc's next time won't you sing with me good job good job that's chanting chant the alphabet learning our abc's like i said this is the basics this is the foundation that is going to get you started to do very well in kindergarten in school and later in life i have a special song for you and it goes like this special 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 me i am special as can be there is no one that's quite like me i'm as good as i can be special 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 me there is no one as i can be and the same goes to each and every one of you you are special you are unique there is no one like you you are you parents and caregivers learning the alphabet is a fun fun way to share time with the kids in your life you can do this anytime anywhere for as little as 20 minutes a day you can you know sing the the song the kids are also learning when they're singing you can read it together you can write it together you can color it together you can paint it together as long as you are doing it with your kids and they are having fun remember the five powerful practices that we do each and every day this will help the kids in our lives be ready for kindergarten thank you for taking this time with me thank you for coming to story time it was great to see all of you remember that you can go to our website www dot h c l i b dot org for more resources for more early literacy tools that's going to help the kids in your life be the best they can be we are now going to sing our goodbye song and it goes like this Goodbye, goodbye, well, see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon, goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon on another day. Thank you.
and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.